If you're taking the GED, you'll definitely need to know how to solve a problem like this. Now, to do that, you'll need a really good understanding of fractions and something called the order of operations. So let's take a look at this question and work through it step by step. All right, so here is our problem. We have 10 divided by parentheses, 2 times 5 parentheses squared, all over 10. So to solve this problem, we definitely need to understand fractions and something called the order of operations. Now in mathematics, an operator or a mathematical operation is things like multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, and even powers. So we have a lot of things going on in this problem. And the first thing that we need to do is think about the correct order to do these mathematical operations. So let's do a quick review of something called PEMDAS. Okay, so PEMDAS is how we remember the correct order of operations. And it's a checklist that goes from left to right. And basically, it goes like this. So if you have any parentheses or grouping symbols in your problem, and of course we have these parentheses right here. So this is where we're gonna start first, all right? So if you have any parentheses in your problem, you're gonna handle all of those first. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is any exponents, but that really means powers. So if you have anything like two cubed, any power situations, you're gonna do those next. Now M, D, A, and S stand for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So the way this works is we're gonna handle any multiplication or division whatever we see first from left to right. So that means that if we have division, then multiplication will go this route. In other words, we'll do division and then the multiplication. But if we have multiplication, then division, because we see the multiplication first from left to right, we'll do the multiplication, then the division. You have to be very careful with this in the order of operations. And then lastly, we have to handle any addition and subtraction, whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so let me go ahead and walk through the steps here. And of course, we'll talk about how to deal with the fractions as we get into the problem. Now, if you think you can do this, go ahead and pause the video and maybe put your answer into the comment section. But uh, let's go ahead and start now. Now, before I show you my steps, remember you want to keep this PEMDAS in mind. All right, so do we have any parentheses? Yes, we're going to handle this first, uh, two times five. Then once you're done with doing anything that's inside of parentheses, you want to start working outside of the parentheses. So that means we're gonna handle our exponent situation next. So I'm gonna to kind of give you an overview of the solution here. Now, once we have this taken care of, this part of the problem, we have division going on. Now, another common here is that we have a big fraction. So the kind of the best way to approach this is to work independently in the numerator and denominator. In other words, think of these as separate problems, and then we'll go ahead and finalize everything once we simplify the numerator and denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is our problem. Now, of course, remembering the order of operations, PEMDAS. So we're looking for any parentheses. Of course, we have some parentheses right here. So we're gonna do two times five, which of course is 10. Now, when you're doing these um, problems, you just wanna write one step at a time, okay? So we're gonna take one step and rewrite the problem. So two times five is, of course, 10. So now our problem is 10 divided by 10 squared over 10. Now, at this point, you gotta keep asking yourself or keep thinking about that PEMDAS checklist, right? So we got PEMDAS. We took care of all parentheses. Now, there are parentheses here, but there's nothing more to do here. Okay, so we're now gonna look for any powers. So we have 10 squared, so this is gonna be our next step. If you're gonna be taking the GED, you don't wanna take a chance of failing because of weak math skills. So instead of guessing on math questions, why not answer them confidently? So make sure to check out my full GED math test prep course. It's very comprehensive. It has step-by-step -step lessons just like this and much, much more. So if you want to check it out, just follow the link in the description. Okay, so 10 squared is what? Well, this means 10 times 10. Okay, so 10 times 10, of course, is 100. All right, so now here is our problem. We have 10 divided by 100 over 10. Now, one thing that you cannot do 
is cross cancel these tents. Okay, this is a big uh, error here if you're thinking that we can do this. In other words, we can't just cross cancel and our answer is 100. Now, if these um, numbers up in the numerator were separated by multiplication like 10 times 100 over 10, well, these numbers here are what we call like factors. And here you could cross cancel, cross cancel like factors, the, i.e. the same factor in the numerator and denominator. And of course, our final answer would be 100. But here we have division. So we're going to have to handle that next. Again, you want to think of the numerator and the denominator as their own separate problems. Okay, so 10 divided by 100. What is that? Well, you got to be careful here because that is going to be a fraction, right? So 10 divided by 100, we can express as the fraction 10 over 100. Okay, so right here, we have a complex fraction. We have 10 over 100 divided by 10. Okay, so now we have to be very careful here. And again, we need to be strong with fractions. So anytime you have an opportunity to reduce any fractions midway in your problem, you want to go ahead and typically do that. So 10 over 100, we can simplify that as the fraction 1 tenth. So instead of 10 over 100, we can write 1 over 10. So we have 1 over 10 over 10. Okay, so we're almost there. Now we've got to figure out what 1 tenth divided by 10 is equal to. So the way we're going to handle this is we're going to rewrite the problem differently. Okay, so we have 1 10 or 1 over 10 or 1 tenth over 10. Now in fractions, this big fraction bar is the same thing as the division operation. So here we have 1 tenth divided by 10 over 1. Okay, so we're almost done. Again, we have to really understand how to deal with fractions here. So when you're dividing fractions, what we need to do is change this into a multiplication problem by flipping the fraction to the right of this division operator, right? So we're going to go from division to multiplication by flipping this fraction to the right of the division operator. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So here we have 1 tenth divided by 10 over 1. This is equivalent. This problem is equivalent to 1 tenth the, uh, times 1 over 10, right? So here we have 10 over 1 or 10. So anytime you want to think of a number as a fraction, just put it over 1. So instead of 10, you can write that as 10 over 1. So when we flip this upside down, i.e. Uh, we find the reciprocal, we're going to get the fraction 1 tenth. Okay, so now we have 1 over 10 times 1 over 10. And to multiply fractions, this is very easy. All we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 10 times 10 is 100. So our final answer is 1 over 100. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out and make your GED math preparation easy, right? It's very tough to learn math all on your own. So if you're really serious about passing the GED, make sure to go to my full GED math prep course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video.